and welcome back to my channel. My name's Katie and today I'm going to be sharing with you three farmhouse style DIYs. So all three of these DIYs are really easy and they were super inexpensive. I've made several DIYs on my channel recently and gotten a lot of positive feedback. You guys seem to really enjoy those. So thank you so much for all of your comments and all of your support on my channel. It truly means the world to me. If you are not subscribed to my channel already, definitely consider doing so. Along with DIYs, I also do a lot of home decorating videos, cleaning, and I'm also a mom of three and I am pregnant right now with baby number four. So I share a little bit about that on my channel as well. And I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. So thank you again so much for watching and let's go ahead and get right on in to this video. For this first DIY, I picked up a inexpensive frame from Goodwill and I took everything out of the frame, the glass and all of the extras in the interior, and I painted the outside of the frame using black acrylic paint. This is just paint that I got from Walmart for a dollar, and I'm planning to paint over the top of this with white chalk paint and then sand it. Once the frame was dry, then I painted over the black with white chalk paint. This is Waverly chalk paint, and I got it from Walmart. It did take about two coats to fully cover this. In some areas, I actually added three coats because I felt like I could still see some of the black peeking through. Next, my husband cut some chicken wire to fit to the back of the frame. And we don't have a staple gun, but if you do have one, that would be absolutely perfect to adhere this to the back. Instead, um, we just use hot glue because that's basically what we had, but like I said, staples would be absolutely perfect. I printed off some letters on the computer that said Farm Fresh, and then I just cut these out, and I used the black piece that had been inside the frame and glued these onto that. I just used Mod Podge because that's what I have, and after that dried, I cut these out, and basically the black just gave it, made them a little bit more sturdy. And then I used hot glue to adhere these to the chicken wire to make my sign. After the letters were placed, I sanded the frame a bit. I would actually recommend sanding before you place the letters. I accidentally forgot, but some of the um, paint from when I was sanding got onto the letters. So if you are going to do something like this, sand the frame first. Next, I used the Waverly chalk paint in white and I painted this mason jar. You can get these at the Dollar Tree or Walmart, basically wherever you want. And I had this just extra already at my house, so I and I just wanted to spruce it up. So I gave this one coat of chalk paint and that was all the paint that it took to fully cover it and let that dry. Once the mason jar was dry, I took some twine that I got from the Dollar Tree and wrapped it around the top of the mason jar and I used just a little bit of hot glue to kind of keep that in place. It actually stays in place pretty well on its own, but I feel like the glue, hot glue really reinforces it. I printed off a little image of a chicken and I painted over this chicken using some chalk paint that I also had purchased from Walmart. and just let that dry and after that was dry I applied some Mod Podge to the back and then placed the chicken right onto the mason jar. I used a sharpie to outline certain areas of the chicken to make it look a little bit more realistic and then I painted over the entire thing with more Mod Podge so that I can kind of give it that like distressed look. I had my husband paint this little basket that I actually picked up at the Dollar Tree I'm pregnant right now, so I'm trying to stay away from spray paint as much as I can, but I really wanted a rusty color on this to make it look like old and farmhouse-y. I picked up these eggs from the Dollar Tree and I painted these with chalk paint. I used um, a white, a brownish shade, and also I mixed a little bit of light pink in with my white chalk paint so I could kind of have a pink chalk paint-ish color. I wanted neutral colors to go into my basket. To paint the eggs, I put them on skewers and then pushed them into floral foam. Once the eggs were dry, my husband and I put some random speckles on them using Sharpie. You could also use paint, black paint, and just kind of speckle these that way, but this was easier and quicker and I feel like it still looked really good in the end. Here are all of the DIYs finished. I'm really excited with how all of these turned out. 
definitely let me know which one was your favorite or which one you will plan to recreate. And thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.